Aspiring educators often utter the following phrase or something similar in reference to their prospective careers. I know that teaching is really hard and I won't get paid much, but if I can just make a real difference in one kid's life, it'll all be worth it. This isn't as naive as those who claim that when they become teachers, all the students are going to love their classes because they're going to magically make learning fun for everybody and choose what they'll teach and how to teach it and live happily ever after. However, the aforementioned turn of phrase is rather naive and absurd for different reasons, and I'd like to explain why for any young or aspiring teachers listening. That outlook isn't naive because it's impossible or even improbable to substantially impact any one student's life over the course of your multi-decade career. In fact, if your degree of impact were that low and your effect so impotent, the profession would probably be significantly less stressful. You see, when considering becoming a teacher, you should understand that your concern should not be whether or not you can meaningfully impact any one student's life, but rather how positively can you impact each student's life. Every single day of your profession, you are shipping precious cargo of your species' future. The potential of your impact is unspeakably high and remarkably unpredictable. On any given day, your greatest conscious efforts to inspire one student may fall on deaf ears, while an off-the-cuff comment or even not saying something at the right time could crush a child's spirit inadvertently. Something as simple as not noticing a shy or soft-spoken student attempting to get your attention could make him or her feel ignored and devalued. It isn't a matter of whether or not you'll be able to make an impact. It's whether or not you're prepared for the responsibility of the sheer force of frequency of impacts you'll certainly make. Almost anyone can think of something that a favorite teacher once said or did that evoked long-lasting inspiration or influence. Every day you have the potential to create that moment for any one of your students or multiple students. You also have the potential to cheat them of that moment by not knowing what they need to hear or see and acting upon it accordingly. Likewise, most people can conjure up images of a teacher they loathed who said or did something that shook their confidence, stifled their creativity, or generally rubbed them the wrong way for a significant time. Every day you risk being guilty of the words or acts that create that lasting negative impression, usually without even knowing it, just because a student misunderstood you, misinterpreted you, or you simply didn't take the time to plan your every word and action meticulously enough. All of it falls under the impossibility of doing your job properly, and we're talking about things that apply to child care professionals in general here that don't even technically make the job description. You're not allowed to have a bad day where you just run on autopilot and don't speak to anybody. Ignorance doesn't take a day off, so you can't afford to either. Understand that depending on the students you're working with, the sad truth is you'll spend more direct and engaged interactive time with them in one semester than what some of their own parents do in an entire year. It's up to you to traverse a tightrope on a unicycle while juggling chainsaws to make sure that you carry yourself with professionalism without being too uptight. You have to have a sense of humor while ensuring that you're taken seriously. You have to be loving yet firm. You have to differentiate behavioral discipline and academic instruction based on individual student needs, but all the time be unequivocally, irreproachably fair. You have to accommodate without coddling and challenge without breaking. You have to refuse failure without discouraging failed effort and praise accomplishment without breeding complacence. Your job is impossible. Accept it. And don't bother lamenting what you can't do. Ask yourself what you can do every single day and move forward from there because every single day you will make a difference. It's only a question of what that difference will be.